Uh, so I'm from Leapfrog. I'm here with Rio Wong, um, current K1 88 kg champion, um, trains out of SN Combat Academy, and um, is an all-around nice guy, father, family man, uh, lovely guy. I've met him quite a lot of times, and I think he's he's great. So um, without further ado, Rio, how you doing, bro? I'm good, thank you. I'm good, thank you. Yourself? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I would think we're going through some um, crazy times right now. Uh, how is um, the lockdown treating you? Um, do you know what? It's got to make bad. I'm um, good out of a bad situation. I think um, at the moment um, we have our highs and lows, but ultimately it's been more highs. Um, we're just getting on with it. Um, good time to get more quality time with the family. Definitely. Um, you're still working as well through the lockdown? Yeah, I'm still working. Um, yeah, got, got to pay the bills, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I guess it must be hard, you know, with um, working, family, and trying to balance things out because you kind of got to be creative with, with the kids and stuff. Yeah. Um, fortunately, um, my missus is, is hands-on, so um, we've, we balance it out at home. And okay. Yeah. So obviously, like the kids like train with me, etc. So kind of burn the energy yeah. that way as well. Yeah, that was my follow-up question. Are you still able to train through this? Yeah. So um, I've been still like doing my strength and conditioning, um, drills, etc. Um, Master Sam started Zoom sessions as well. So, oh, cool. uh, so that's been um really helpful. So I've been doing that with him, and then just going for runs, etc. Stay, stay, stay on top of it. Definitely. So, cool. There's a, obviously a few things we want to talk about today. So, the first one I think that will interest me most is um, how you got into the sport, how you got into um, K1 martial arts. Um, yeah, just tell us about how you were introduced to the sport. Um, I think martial arts have been something that I've always been intrigued by and I've always wanted to wanted to do it's been a dream so to say from 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 a child but um not really growing up i weren't really trying to pursue my dreams as such i didn't really yeah. know that, that avenue but, um, yeah. and then obviously going down the wrong paths etc getting into trouble and then over time i started kind of questioning what am i what am i on everyone yeah. always used to say to me oh you know what you should you should jump on this fighting thing so much people around me was doing MMA and boxing, etc. Yeah. I've always been intrigued by um out of all the combat sports by like K one, um, predominantly. K one Muay Thai, but more so K one, like from Glory Pride, um yeah. K one, etc. from back in the day I used to watch them. And then um I was I got introduced to um Master Sam in um, I think like 2016 or something. He was doing um, a speech, uh, a se uh, like a seminar. Yeah. Um, and I was straight away. I was quite intrigued by 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 this character that I'm that I'm meeting and who I met. And then from there, I kind of had it in my mind. You know what? I'm gonna yeah. kind of give this thing a go. Yeah. Um, and then 2017, uh, February, I just thought, you know, I need to do something with my life because yeah. I was stuck in a cycle where I was, I was doing the same, I was having the same outcomes. Although I was thinking uh, I might be doing this, this differently or I might be working, but I was still, my mentality was still yeah. in that cycle. Um, yeah. So 2017, I think February, I walked into... Um, which then was um, KO South, um, obviously SN Combat Academy now. Um, yeah. I walked in and didn't look back. So February 2017, come in there, just everything that I feel like I needed spiritually, um, yeah. discipline-wise, everything that was being portrayed there and was given over, I just, I just embraced it, man. And I just I said, you know what, I'm going yeah. to make this happen. So what would you say starting combat sports or K1, what has it taught you? What have you learned or what have you taken out of it? Lessons you've taken out of it? Um, you know what? I think it's helped me 
I would say martial arts and having an understanding of actual martial arts now, a greater understanding has yeah. made me realize that, you know, certain ways of life or certain um, attitudes, which I thought would yeah. maybe get me further at that time. Um, yeah, it, 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 it ain't. Yeah. Do you think maybe it's, um, it's kind of disciplined you and focused you more on things that you wanted to achieve? 100% humbled me a lot, humbled me a lot because, um, you know, the whole bravado thing and the, the, the um, you know, who's a tough yeah. guy and all that stuff is out the window with martial arts. You can walk yeah, exactly. into somewhere, um, which I realised, you know, I see the smallest, skinniest guy in there and think, uh, you know, this, this guy. And he's the most dangerous in there. <laughs> you know, yeah. really putting everyone up. Yeah. So, so I think I learned a lot of lessons, although I was already finding myself, um, that you know, becoming more humble and et cetera. But yeah. that to me, that humbled me a lot more and Definitely. also made me understand respect a lot more. Okay. Um, you know, like house rules and um, certain things that. I had to conduct yourself as well, yeah. Yeah, like certain etiquettes that you have to, um, yeah. you have to uphold in, in a lot of gyms, especially yeah. at, at SN Combat Academy, where obviously where I was. Um, yeah, so I guess so over time. Like, yeah, so in light of what you're saying, do you think um, um, gyms like SN Combat Academy, uh, other gyms that train Muay Thai, kickboxing, mm -hmm. MMA, martial arts, karate, whatever, do yeah. you think these are things that can help other kids uh, break their cycle? A hundred percent. I think, um, look, a, a lot of people that are out there, so to say, or in situations whether it's um you know in trouble with the law um going through mental health or whatever yeah. the one thing that i've found with martial arts is that it brings everyone it unites everyone so yeah, it doesn't definitely. matter if, if you're this that guy from over wherever or you're that girl that's suffering with depression or that guy that's suffering with depression when yeah. we're all together and you have that family unit it's it's like a, they can become like a sanctuary. Yeah, a of, yeah. I, hear you, I hear you. And um, so I definitely think that it's, it's in, you know, if there's young people that are thinking to even just just do the training for the discipline. Yeah. Hundred percent, it changes lives. Hundred percent. Yeah. So I mean, you started um at um well now SN Combat Academy in two thousand and seventeen. Um, and your rise has been quite monumental if you consider you walking into the gym in 2017. From the first day you started to your first inter-club, um, how were you feeling when you had to do your first inter-club? Um, do you know what? I, it's weird because I'm not new to fighting. Yeah, so <laughs> to me, it was just like, oh, yeah, cool. And I was with a couple of others and, you know, people talk about nerves and... And I think um, I remember getting told, you know, just just relax, just go chill, find a spot, just yeah. you know. And I can't, I, and that's exactly what I did. I think I was in the car waiting yeah. for quite for quite some time, and then I had the the moments of of you know that that oh like what, what am I actually signing up for here? Like what's actually going on? But yeah. overall, I proper enjoy fighting. I, like genuinely have the best time in there. Like I'm living my dream so yeah, yeah. the first inner club. Yeah. To, to whatever. Yeah. You know, it's exactly. It's like they say, you know, the first step is the hardest. A lot of people don't follow their dreams because they don't take that first step. Hundred percent. Takes courage to do that. So yeah. So from um your inter clubs and that's just putting into perspective, um that's quite a quite a quick rise, you know, from where you were. Um, and I think it was what a year after that you debuted on um, KOK, right? That was in your call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your call. Okay. So how would that have feel? So you've kind of walked into a gym in 2017. You had your first interclub, maybe what a little bit after that. And now you're at your call, where you know all the kind of boxing greats and all these guys are on it. How would that? How would that have felt for you? Um, you know what? It was. It was so. It was. It was really nice. Um, because I think I remember being there as a spectator, 
yeah. watching teammates, etc. And even this other show, boxing shows, like you say, in the past, and then now it's it's my turn. And um yeah. yeah, I was I was really excited. I was really excited about that. Um, you know, had a good support support out there. And um yeah, I think I think more than anything, I was excited. Yeah. I'm always excited, but that one, that one was that one was yeah. the, But was it like um it's like justifications not not I don't know if that's the wrong word. It's um so you put hard work in, isn't it? So you yeah. put the hard work in and that's like the the reward to say, you know what, it's kind of paid off. Because when you're training, it is um, a little bit of a lonely sport where you're working, you're working, you're working, you're working, you're working. And that opportunity when you get there in front of the crowds, it's like the reward to say, you know, all that hard work that I've put in and the sacrifices is kind of paid off. It's um, a nice feeling, I guess. Yeah, 100%. Um, I'm definitely one that stands by that, that saying that hard work pays off, dedication, um, you know, these, these things are imperative to yeah. achieving what you want to achieve. Yeah, definitely. Do you think the way people look at you, because um, like you were saying that you um, maybe were going down the wrong road, do you think the people around you now, when they see you into that ring, uh, first turn around and feel more pride towards what you're doing? And secondly, maybe you inspire them now, saying, well, actually, he's gone from here to there. Do you think that's true? Yeah, 100%. Um, you know, I've gone from my mum probably getting a phone call uh, and dreading what's, what news she's going to get to now, you know, um, yeah. being super proud, like seeing, seeing um, yeah. all the accomplishments that are happening um, and how highly people speak of me. Um, even for myself, you know what? I, I, even that when we speak and, you know, and you compliment me, etc. To me, I'm still getting used to um, accepting all of this, like these compliments yeah. and, and everything. Although it's been a while since I've I've done a 360, so to say, and turned turned my life around. Yeah. So far, I'm still adjusting to certain things. So. Yeah, I hear that. So um, yeah, I think it's that to me is one of the biggest achievements so far. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. No, definitely, definitely. So it's not a small feat. I know like um, some people might think it is, but to change your life around completely and to the degree that you did, it, uh, I like to think that any youngsters that are watching this can see what you've done, that you've just taken your life that maybe was going down into um, a trouble situation and you turned it around to something positive, so much so that people are looking at Rion and thinking, wow, check this guy out. You want to mm. be like him. Do you know what I mean? That's quite inspiring. It's quite. It, it comes down to your hard work, definitely. Yeah. No. Um. No. Definitely. Um. And I think having to to think what what kind of image did I want my kids to grow up to to think about? Yeah. When people speak of me, how are they going to speak? Is it going to be of that? Oh uh, yeah. Do you know your dad was such and such a bad man or what, whatever that that. Yeah. Thing. Or, uh, do you know your your dad, you know, he done so much great things. Yeah. Um, you know, and it's yeah. positive. Now, to me, there's, there, it's a no-brainer. Yeah, exactly. Because I think maybe you look, you, sh you should, if you don't already, look at yourself as you're now the role model. So, you know, whereas maybe when you were younger, you weren't seeing the role model, but you're that role model right now that these kids are looking up to. So coming back to your fighting style, so you debuted at KOK, your call. And then from there, it, that is, that's not where it stopped, did it? It kind of carried on. And yeah. as of March of this year, you fought in the O2, um, packed out O2, and you became K1 88 kg champion. I yeah. mean, how, how did you feel on that night? Ah, uh, you know what? Um, yeah, I was buzzing. That, 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 was, that was a great feeling. Um, that, was, that was a big accomplishment for me because yeah. There's so much that's that that's happening behind the scenes that you know that people don't obviously understand or don't get to see. Yeah, definitely. And they just see us get in the ring and then like that's it. Like whatever happens during that time, win, draw, lose, it's yeah. it's like most people will just focus on that. 
but yeah. they don't know about the 5 a.m. waking up and yeah, yeah. training and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, and you know the loss of like family time and the sacrifices that go on behind the scenes, all the work that gets put in, um, both from the fighters, our coaches. Yeah. So I can obviously I can only speak from self experience that yeah. the amount of work that Martin Sam puts in for us. Um, to me, it's like that whole that that just ever think about it. That whole build up, it was it, yeah. it was so sick. It, it was proper. Yeah. It was proper. I mean, at the O2, um, you had a lot of support there, so that yeah. must have been quite um, I guess humbling and a really good feeling as well. Yeah, a hundred percent. You know what? Um, the one thing I've realized is that I've had a good like I've always had a good following, but I think each time we step out there. It's yeah. getting bigger and bigger and more people and yeah. the amount of love and positive energy that that gets shown now is yeah it's unreal it's definitely it's, yeah. it's the further we get the more humble i become yeah definitely i mean obviously i know you and i've known you from a while now and um mm-hmm. yeah you're not changed as a person and you are you are one of the most humblest person that i've actually met but yeah your achievements are down to your hard work that definitely down to your hard work. So I've got um, one more question for you. Well, I've got yeah. a few more questions for you, to be honest. But this one's a big one for me anyway, because I'm quite interested to know, is you've obviously had quite a journey. So from um, childhood to kind of walking into um, your first K1 lesson, I guess, to debuting at K- KOK, to getting your, your um, K1 title and so on. So I want to know who inspires you. Who's the one that inspires you? And it doesn't need to be fight related. Anyone that inspires you to kind of um, get it done, I guess. Do you know what? Um, I find that I have so many inspirations. I find inspirations so much around me. Yeah. yeah. Um, but if I'm being like specific, I would yeah. say the person that probably inspired me to actually pursue and get into martial arts was. Um, uh, Master Sam, Crew Sam. Um, as I say, I was in a dark place, and then after speaking with speaking with him and hearing his story and etc., it made me realize that you know things are not too late. Um, yeah. But that is definitely a big inspiration. Um, yeah. And my family. Do you know what? My see my family, like. No matter what happens, that's my inspiration, my motivation. That's everything. That's right there. Yeah, so. you do it for your family, definitely. Yeah. So we t- we touched on Master Sam. Um, I'm quite interested. Obviously, you kind of tapped it a little bit. Is the influence that he's had over you uh, throughout your fight career, from you walking in to you now becoming um, like quite a draw. So I I know quite a few promoters that want you on their shows. So from that start mm-hmm. to now, what influence and uh, what have you learned from him? Um, in regards to conducting yourself and becoming a professional fighter? Um, I think a lot of... Um, the thing is, I walked into into the club thinking I, I was a man, yeah? With certain... Well, I was. I was obviously... I've come into this, this room quite late. And, yeah. um, but I think I've... Etiquette-wise... You know that the discipline, um, the family, the family um, values, yeah. etc. That's been a big thing, a big part for me. Um, and then just the thing of never changing. Yeah. That's one thing he's always said to me is, no matter what happens, is that I'm a, I should always remain myself and always be myself. And yeah. that's something that I've I've always stuck to. Yeah, definitely. They're wise words, isn't it? They're, they're completely yeah. wise words, and I think you kept true to it as well. Um, like I said, there's a lot of promoters that are kind of interested in yourself. Um, I spoke to Rory Crawford. He was the one that put on Combat Fight Series where you won the title. Yeah. He's very interested to um, see what's next for you. But like you said, it was speak to Crew Sam and yourself. But yeah. you've taken it from starting, um, starting fighting to the point where there's actually promoters that are actively looking for you now. You know yeah. what I mean? That's a, that's a big change. Um, just want you were touched on it a little bit. I just want to know the importance that your family has because you've got a young child, 
um, you're a family man yourself. I know family is really important to you. Mm. So how much does having a family motivate you as a fighter? Uh, listen, they are, they are my, my, my motivation to succeed in life. Obviously, everything I do now, like literally when you hear me saying about building a legacy and et cetera, obviously it's for them, it's for yeah. family. Um, you know, family is the most important thing um, that we got. So, you know, like ups, downs, highs, lows, whatever, there's always, they're always there, isn't it? They're, yeah. They've always got you. So for me, I have, to, I have to make things happen for them. It's not even a case of, you know, I want yeah. to or whatever. It's like, I have to, I'm going to. That's it. Yeah. There's no other way. So, yeah, they, they are they are. I think it makes you a better fighter, a more determined fighter. Because there's a lot oh. of hard work involved. You kind of need yeah. that thing that really kind of ignites you. Yeah, because, you, yeah, cause, you know, you can't, it's, it's like, you can't let, I can't let them down. Yeah. I can't let them down. Do you know what I mean? So, all the sacrifice, like I say, the sacrifice of, being out, obviously, I've got to work full time, train full time. So it's so at yeah. the moment the sacrifice is at home. So I probably spend less time indoors than I would like to. But obviously, yeah. in due, in due time, hopefully, you know, um, with the right sponsors, etc. And I'm still understanding how the whole thing works. Um, I work here. I yeah. Have. But obviously, ideally, being able to train full time and fight full time. And then obviously I'll be able to find a balance again. Um, yeah. But yeah, so all the sacrifice that is put in place, yeah, I can't let it be in vain, in it. So definitely, we are going to make it happen for them. That's it. We, yeah, no yeah. I've no doubt. No, no, I don't doubt you at all. Uh, now talking about, you mentioned there about your legacy. So yeah. from where you are now, and you winning your first title, um, I know you, I know the kind of person you are. I know you don't like to look too far ahead. But in an ideal world, where would you like, when you finally hang up your gloves, where would you like to be? What would you like to have achieved? Do you know what? Um, I definitely want to be, like, one of my things. Like, obviously, you know, I don't like talking yeah. too much or whatever. But I think one of my things, you know, is to be, wherever you see my name, yeah. I'm going to be number one whatever if i can make the way or whatever that's that's i don't want to limit myself to yeah. to anything in particular like to say i'm going to be a world champion why not yeah. why can't i be a multi-division world champion or yeah you know but so i don't want to limit myself to anything but yeah. i just want people to know that when they speak about me or yeah. My fight career, they say, yeah, but you know, this guy was, he was, he was, he was the man. Yeah. Just you one other, I mean? one other thing, I have just reminded me, um, regarding how you keep weight, because um, we had a conversation, I believe, I can't remember, when, I think it was um, when you was fighting that Immortals, and we had this um, conversation, and you were saying how you're pretty much near enough on weight over time, so yeah. making weight is not an issue for you. Do you think that gives you the cutting edge compared to a lot of fighters who then spend three weeks, four weeks to get to a weight? Um, I don't know, you know, because like, like I say, look, some people have their weight cut to a T, so they might have a better, their replenishment might give them the upper hand, or I don't know. I don't, I don't really, you know, yeah. I don't, but for me, it's just, I just like to just always be, I just like to be ready. So if you, yeah. I don't know, if Master Sam called me today and said, you know, things are back on, um, you know, we're good to go, X, Y, and Z, as long as I know I can make the weight, that, uh, I'm good to go. Like, so. That's good to hear. Good to hear. Um, yeah, listen, Rion, it was nice catching up with you today. Um, mm -hmm. I look forward Bye -bye. to speaking to you again once lockdown's done and you got fight announced and all the rest of it. So, um, yeah, bruv, stay safe and we'll yeah, speak again very soon. Yeah, yeah. No, bye, man. Peace.